my name is Marshall and today we're going to do a port and polish job on the intake manifold of my 4AGZE. The idea behind this is to remove the large casting imperfections and casting ridges on the inside of the intake runners. What this is going to boil down to is less turbulence inside the manifold, better atomization of the fuel as it enters the combustion chamber, more complete combustion of the fuel inside of the combustion chamber, and ultimately a higher horsepower. These are the tools we're going to be using today. I have a Dremel tool that's available at most home improvement warehouses. Well worth the money invested in this tool. You will find more uses than just what we are doing today. I have a 36 grit wheel that will take down the majority of our casting imperfections. I have a 220 grit wheel that will take us even further to the desired finish. A 220 grit brush and a 320 grit brush which will be our final step in achieving the finish desired. These are our intake runners. What we're going to do today is remove these casting ridges on the inside of the runners. This will allow for a smoother bore for the air to run through, less turbulence, and increased horsepower. Each runner has a ridge on each side of the runner. What we're going to do is remove these ridges, as you can see, on these other two runners that I've done earlier this morning and create a smooth semi-polished area the, for the first two to two and a half inches into the bore. As I've said before in my other videos, safety is paramount. So don't forget to use your particular respirators and have a good pair of safety glasses. The tool is not very loud so we will not be needing earplugs today. We're going to start off with our 36 grit wheel. We want to make sure that the wheel is turned in the right direction so that it spins correctly and does the job that it was meant to. The idea here is to use your tool and not to apply too much pressure. Remember, it's the tool that's doing the work, not you. Now that most of the ridges are knocked down, we're going to go ahead and move on to a 220 grit, grit wheel. Remember, we're not trying to enlarge the runners. We're only wanting to polish them. Try not to remove any more material than is necessary to take out the ridges. And we only want to work in the first two to two and a half inches of each runner. Now that I've finished with my 220 grit wheel, I'm going to move on to a 220 grit brush. They're the same grit, but the brush leaves a much smoother finish to continue polishing on. Now that I've finished with our 220 grit brush, I'm going to go ahead and move on to our final stage. With our 320 grit brush, it will give us a nice polished finish that will perform well at high RPMs. Now through the magic of video, in the last few minutes I've produced an intake manifold that is polished and ready to go back on the engine. Remember, to get the most out of this upgrade, you must do the intake ports and the exhaust ports on the head and the exhaust manifold as well. In order to do this properly, you will need to take your time and ensure that you do not gouge or scar the sealing surfaces while doing it and to and to always, always, always take your time. The longer you take, the slower you go, the more pleased with your results you will be. I hope you have enjoyed another how-to video from Marshall. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day.